from the inevitable AI takeover. By Ben Gortzel, Singularity Net. All right, welcome everyone. Yeah, sorry for the brief confusion. Uh, we had queued up originally the slide deck for my talk tomorrow, which is which I'm going to allude to here. But what, what I want what I want to talk about now is what I'm doing with my colleagues at Singularity. Net to, to make sure that when the inevitable advent of the technological singularity occurs, <clears throat> it's actually something that, that, that's good for everyone, right? I mean, I think I've been working on AI since 1980s, and for those of us who've been around the field for a while, the recent advances in AI are nothing surprising. It's, it's, it's been clear that AI is going to get smarter and smarter and smarter, eventually reaching and exceeding human intelligence, and I mean, this could obviously lead to a variety of interesting consequences. It could be, it could be a malevolent takeover of the robot overlords, as, as we see in, in science fiction. It could be the advent of a, a new utopia for humans and other, other sentient beings, as AIs orchestrating armies of narrow AIs t take on all the, the difficult tasks that people don't want to do and leave humans free for, for more entertaining things than, than, than working for a living, right? So the, the question is, what can we do so that the inevitable advent of superhuman AI, the technological singularity that Ray Kurzweil and others have, have foreseen, which I agree is very likely to be coming within the next decades and perhaps even years. The question is, what can we do to increase the odds that this is, is positive for humans and, and other, other sentient beings? And of course, there's, there's a lot of pieces to this, right? But I think one key piece is making sure that AI technology, and in particular artificial general intelligence, as it emerges from the, the constellation of narrow AIs dominating the tech ecosystem today, we want to make sure that as AGI emerges, it's not controlled by any elite groups that have their own narrow interests primarily in mind, rather than the interest of, of the vast uh, evolving ecosystem of sentient beings, right? So how do you make sure that as narrow AI gives way to AGI, it's not owned and controlled by a small group of narrow elites. Well, this is, this is where blockchain comes in, right? I mean, we need a decentralized tech stack. We need AGI to engineer and, and to emerge within a, within a decentralized ecosystem. And there's, of course, there's a lot of pieces to making that actually work. I'm gonna outline very, very briefly in the, in the next uh, seven minutes a few of the things going on in this in this direction uh, led by myself and others in the, in the in the singularity net world so you can go to singularitynet.io find out about our decentralized ai platform which is intended to let anyone put an ai online launch it into the internet connected to our decentralized protocol it becomes part of a blockchain based you know digital digital decentralized uh, multi-agent system and organism of, of AI minds. And there's, there's an AI marketplace where an AI agent can offer services to whoever needs it. There's also a protocol for connecting different AIs so AIs can outsource work to each other. They can form, it, form into collectives to help, to help solve problems. And there's a, this is open to any kind of AI algorithm. There's a bunch of neural nets on there, logical reasoning engines. We have our own AGI platform called OpenCog Hyperon that's among the AIs running on this, on this platform. And there's folks in Singularity Net ecosystem now building a variety of different products aimed in, in all different vertical markets on Singularity Net platform from Singularity DAO for decentralized finance, uh, Awakening Health for, for medical robotics, uh, Reju for longevity biology, Mindplex, decentralized social media, some of these have been independently capitalized. Singularity DAO and NewNet did their own their own token sales last year. So, some are at are at an, er, an earlier stage, and we're looking to grow this even more with uh, something called deep funding. So, the the NewNet project that was that was launched last year provides decentralized processing infrastructure. SingularityNet provides a multi-agent system and platform for different AI agents 
running on the blockchain using the hardware provision from, from Nuna. And on top of that, we can have applications hitting every, every, virt every vertical market. And you know, the, the applications currently being built and currently launched are pretty incredible, but we want, we want to blow it up way, way bigger. This, this needs to become bigger than the centralized AI ecosystem. So we have, we have a grants program I, I want to briefly tell you about called, called Deep Funding, Decentralized Ecosystem Funding, which, which is aimed at giving AGIX tokens to anyone who has something amazing to, to build on, on, on the platform. And proposals come from the community and somewhat similar to Cardano's Catalyst program, the decision about which proposals to fund is, is also made by the community. This is gonna be in a series of rounds. The first round, which is around a million US dollars in, in AGIX eight ADA tokens is underway now. We're, we're accepting proposals from the community. So if you, if you have a proposal and idea for a project leveraging decentralized AI, we have, the, our community has some tokens to give you if, if, if they like what you're proposing. And the tokens to be disseminated via the deep funding program, they're, they're AGI tokens, which is the native currency of the Singularity ecosystem. And in particular, they're AGI tokens designed to run on the Cardano infrastructure as Cardano native assets. So when we launched Singularity Net in late 2017, our AGI token ran on Ethereum because that's what was there at the time. We're now, we've made AGI token multi-chain. It can run across as many blockchains as we want. But the, the second chain we're moving to is Cardano, and we're very excited about that because of the, the high quality of the software engineering and the, and the community, the scalability of the, of the network. So we, we've been actually internally working with the AGI on ADA tokens for some, for some time, but now on the 18th of, of April, in, in a, a few weeks, we're launching a, a Plutus Cardano smart contract letting you easily convert back and forth between the ADA and Ethereum versions of the token, which, which is a, it's a critical step on, 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 the, on the rollout. So I mean, after, after we can convert back and forth between the Ethereum and, and ADA versions of AGI token, we'll roll out a number of, number of other things. I mean, th there's gonna be staking of AGIX on, on ADA, a full port of the Singularity Net marketplace and, and, and protocol to the ADA platform, which I think will let it, let it out acquire a number of functionalities that have been difficult to do given the high cost and low speed of the, of the Ethereum platform. So we're, we're not actually just gonna port the Ethereum version of the platform straight onto Cardano. We're, we're, do, we're planning a lot of other cool things. So rather than just a marketplace of AI apps, we're looking at a, a marketplace metaverse on Cardano with a, a virtual reality aspect to how you can explore the different AI applications made available on Singularity Net platform. And the, the marketplace metaverse, which will be the Singularity Net on Cardano platform, will interoperate with the Sophiaverse metaverse. I'm giving a whole talk about this tomorrow on the GameFi stage as Sophia, Sophiaverse.ai, you can see online. But the, this is a, it's an immersive multiplayer video game with an NF, NFT aspect and a bunch of AI-powered AI agents emulating the Sophia robot and other, other non-player non characters. So this, it gives interesting ways to teach and evolve your AIs and earn tokens and make NFTs that way. So it's sort of AI-powered metaverse running on Singularity and on Cardano interacting with Singularity Net Marketplace. So Sophiaverse.ai. And, you know, there's a lot of different AI algorithms we can, we can use here. I think, I think this sort of AI-powered metaverse running on a scalable infrastructure can really help us evolve the AIs that we need to make the transition from narrow AI to AGI. Now, all this obviously needs a lot of AI processing. We'd like as much of this to be on-chain as possible. Cardano is a huge step beyond Ethereum. Cardano in itself doesn't go far enough. Now, so another talk I'm giving tomorrow back here on, on the main stage together with my colleague uh, Tufi Saliba, who's in the audience now. Tufi and I are gonna, are gonna talk about a custom Cardano sidechain that, that we're, we're creating specifically for large-scale, low-cost AI applications in the blockchain. So moving to Cardano is a big step beyond Ethereum. Hypercycle, you could sort of view as, as the polygon of Cardano, except it's better than polygon and it's customized, customized for AI, right? So I mean, we're, we're looking at how do we best leverage what Cardano has to offer using the work on Toda that Tufi and his colleague Dan Tolliver have been doing for years 
proof of reputation, some of the AI tools from our OpenCog Hyperon framework, and one, one can then use HyperCycle to group singularity net nodes into high performance rings that can carry out application specific narrow AI and, and move us toward, toward general intelligence. So we've got a reasonably long term roadmap wor wor worked out here. I mean, we're, we're porting SingularityNet to Cardano now. HyperCycle will start launching the first versions of in late 2022 with the full launch in 2023. And moving forward, putting more and more AI on HyperCycle, on SingularityNet, on HyperCycle, on, on, on Cardano. And we're looking at a few years to having some full-scale, decentralized general intelligence systems running on this whole decentralized tech stack delivering applications across all different vertical markets, including the applications funded by the applicants to our, our, our deep, deep funding program, which, which we're running now. So going back to the, you know, the cosmic theme that I began this talk with, I mean, AGI is coming, the singularity is coming, AIs are going to be smarter than, than people, it's going to transform everything. This could be dystopian, like in a bunch of bad Hollywood movies, or it could be incredibly utopian and open up new possibilities for you know human mind and mi minds beyond humanity, and you know n n new p new possibilities for joy and, and and growth and choice for all of us. If we want to bring about the positive kind of singularity rather than the nasty Hollywood kind of singularity, we've got to do a lot of things right. We've got to get the AGIs full of the more positive species of human values and culture, but we also have to make sure that the emerging AI network is not controlled by a small number of corporate or governmental elites. And this is why we need a blockchain-based framework for the emerging AGI, which is we, we need a, a tech stack, such as our AI applications and AGI systems running on SingularityNet, running on HyperCycle, running on Cardano. So if you want to hear a little bit more about some aspects of this, Tufi and I are giving a longer talk on HyperCycle on this stage tomorrow, and I'm talking about the Sophia Dow metaverse for training a AGIs on the GameFi stage uh, tomorrow. But uh, thanks for listening. Uh, follow up more at singularitynet.io, sophiaverse.ai, hypercycle.ai. And uh, the singularity is near, folks. Let's make it a good one.